You're watching the lesson, Where Do I Go to Turn on Windows Features Such as Hyper-V? If you try to search Windows 8 for Hyper-V, you won't find it anywhere. However, if you try searching using the more generic term, Windows Features, you will, in the Settings area, see a couple of options, and the one you want is the one called Turn Windows Features On or Off. Now that's the fast way of navigating to where you'd go to turn on Hyper-V. The long way, let's jump back to our start menu and then jump back to the desktop. The long way is from your control panel. So if we open up Charms and jump to Settings and jump to Control Panel. Now if you are like me and prefer viewing these as the all control panel items as opposed to the category, the one that you want here is Programs and Features. Clicking on Programs and Features will bring up a very familiar window and off to the left you should see the option Turn Windows Features On or Off and you will need admin privileges for this. So there's the window and there's Hyper-V. A check means that that feature is turned on. An empty box or blank box means that that feature is turned off. And a box with only part of it filled in, like a little square within a square, that means that only part of the feature is turned on. So to turn a feature on, you can simply click or tap to turn it on. Now, I can't really turn on all of Hyper-V, mainly because I'm running Windows 8 within a VM. But that's what you would physically do. Click OK. And then Windows will apply those changes. So let's close that. And that is how you locate those special Windows features that you will have to enable.